So in this example, we know that by plugging in 2 using direct substitution, the limit does not exist, right? So next thing we do is we look for factoring. We look for rationalizing the radical. We look for simplifying trig limits, any kind of other properties. But we're kind of stuck, right? There's really nothing else we can do. Does everybody agree with me? So we can just assume that by plugging in at 0 that the limit does not exist. And we obviously, if we are able to use a calculator, we could kind of be able to see that the limit does not exist. But let's kind of use our left and right hand limits to show why it does not exist. Now, I don't know the behavior of this graph, right? I, I really don't know what this graph is doing. It's not one of my parent functions that I just wrote on the board. So what we can do, though, is from the left hand limit, is pick a number that's to the left of 2. Really, really close to 2, but not to 2. So let's evaluate for what's a number that's really, really close to 2. Huh? 1.999, right? So let's evaluate this for 3 times 1.999 divided by 1.999 minus 2. Now, before you grab out your calculators, we don't need to grab out our calculators. We just want to be able to determine what, what is that value as it's getting really, really close. So we have a negative times a positive, which is going to give us a negative. We have 1.2 um, minus uh, 2, which is going to give us another negative number. So we have a negative divided by a negative, which gives us a positive. So therefore, that tells us this graph, the left-hand limit, is going to positive infinity. And if we look at the graph, which I'm kind of running out of time, um, you guys will be able to see that's going to be the case. Now let's do the right-hand limit. So from the right-hand limit, let's choose a value that's just over 2. And this is what I wanted, this is what you would have been the best way for you guys to do those problems on your homework. Number, um, number 9, number 11, you could have done number 19 this way, so forth. Um, all right, so therefore, as you guys go and take a look at that, um, this gives you a negative, and then this gives you a positive, which equals a negative infinity. So that's where you can see the right-hand limit goes to positive infinity. 2.001 minus 2 would be 0 0.0001, right, which is positive. Okay? And if you guys have a graphing calculator, if you want to graph it, I just don't have time to show it, but you will see that that is correct. Unfortunately, I